Hi, I'm Sarah from Pictures Boutique, and today I'm going to do my unboxing of the Island Boutique second unboxing. This is our second half of the year's boxes, so I'm kind of excited because I actually received this box first, um, and it's probably the heaviest as well, but we have an amazing challenge this year with AccuQuilt, and this box is huge and it's heavy, so I'm not going to lift it too much, but it is one of the most exciting parts because we all know that I can't keep a point when I am sewing. So when I'm sewing traditional piecing, I can't keep a point. So I'm excited to use this and see if I can actually keep a point this time. We did also get this one, which is the template. Oops, it's upside down. Might help if I show it up right side. There we go. And I'm actually kind of excited to see if I can keep these points, but it's the Northern Caroline Star. So lots of points in there for me to try and maintain this time. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this one. I have never used an Aki quilt, so I'm excited to do it. All right. Well, with that, we actually got two boxes from Island Boutique, so I'm going to go through those and show you guys what goodies we got as well. So it looks like we have a huge package, um, and it looks like it is our November package, which has a bunch of goodies in it, and it is for our um, Annie uh, by Annie Bags one so I'm extremely excited to get to do this one because I love making bags I don't know if anyone has scrolled through my Instagram lately but I do like making bags I made my most recent purse so I'm excited to do this I've gotten into a little bit of like hand embroidery so very excited to um, make a bag where maybe I can put all my embroidery stuff so stay tuned this one looks like it's in November so I'm excited to make this one and we also have in this box our surprise package. So I'm excited to see this one. And hopefully you guys will all come back and get to see what's in this one as well. I also have the orange collection this time. Last time I had pink, so I'm excited to use some orange and yellow. I do love this sunset collection, so I'm thinking I might use that possibly for the um, next month's project, maybe? So you'll have to come back. Um, I got a champagne neutral, so this is a beautiful piece here. It's more of a yellow undertone but it'll be probably perfect with this collection as possibly a background fabric. So that's a beautiful one. Let's see. I've got this collection. Let's see. It looks like it is pin dot floral and it looks like it's kind of my normal colors, which is like pink blues little bit of purple green so I'm excited to use that we've got two coordinates here some green and some neutral which is called celery so a little bit of a green undertone there but that one as well those are the 10 inch charms the squares and I've got another one here my box comes from across the pond so it takes a while but it also gets shifted around a lot so I've got the blues here which is just the brilliant blues again a great color collection which I love a good blue they make perfect for the sky I mean seriously sunset right there done beautiful simple all right and the last thing in our first box here is some Aurifil thread. Now I'm kind of interested on what we're doing with all of this. So we've got the traditional one that like most of us quilters have seen. Mine's in kind of a purple hue. And then I've got 
it looks like clear thread. This looks like a very thick, very thick thread. And then these guys are on wood spools. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So thanks Orphil. I am interested to see what we get to do with these. Uh, I don't think, I think the last time I used a clear thread was probably a good 15 years ago. So it's been a while. All right, on to our second box here. We have, oh, okay. Ultra thin Hobbs batting. Interested in seeing what we're gonna do with that. I don't think I've ever seen this product before, so I'm kind of excited to use that. I will be um, doing a little research, but there we go, Hobbs batting. We've got a little bit more Hobbs batting here. We've got just a queen size of the cotton batting, which I believe I used um, in one of my projects I think it was possibly April or May, but I really liked this one a lot. Um, it didn't, you know, beard or anything like that, which was great. And then we have wool batting. Ooh, okay. I live in England, so this will probably be coming in handy this winter. So I'm excited to try that one because I'm sure this one will get used all winter long. And then we have one more in here let's see we have the cotton wool blend okay interesting i don't think i have used a wool batting and i don't think i've used a cotton wool blend either so lots of um new stuff from hobbs this time i guess i will be making a lot of new stuff for myself and we've got some coordinate fabrics here We've got Ghost, which is again, kind of a yellow tone. And then we have the floral red dot and I think cranberry is what that says. It's more of like a purpley red. And then we have spring and summer bundle. This one's pretty. All right, so let's see. We've got, this is kind of like a grayish, color we've got some purple we've got some light blue some brighter blue this beautiful yellow and orange i believe i used these in one of my projects this purple the red which i do love a good red this is kind of a pale orange and then two more purples so good collection of like prime colors which i love and it looks like the last thing in my box is this collection. And it actually <laughs> literally looks like another sunset. So this is like right up my alley. I'm excited to use these colors because this like yellow and orange are not really my normal go-to. So I'm kind of excited to explore it a little bit, but like I keep saying sunset. So I'm guessing y'all have to come back because I'm probably gonna make a cool sunset but I love these colors like right here. That's perfect. So uh, that is everything. My room is covered in new goodies. So you guys will all have to come back these next couple of months and check out the amazing things that I get to do. And I hear that we're doing a foundation paper piecing uh, project soon. So might have to use something fun for that one. So thank you Island Batik. Thank you Hobbs. Thank you Aurifil. Thank you AccuQuilt. And thank you, Annie Bags, because this is going to be a great couple of months.